Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another Forgotten Weapons short. I'm Ian McCollum, and according to General Patton, this was the greatest battle implement ever devised as of 1945. Uh, the US rifle Caliber 30 M1, generally known by the name of its inventor, a Canadian-American expat, worked at Springfield Armory for many decades by the name of John Cantius, G-A-R-A-N-D. Typically in the United States you will hear this referred to as a Garand. However, I always refer to it as a Garand, and there's a reason for that. Uh, questions come up as to how are you supposed to pronounce this guy's name? And I have the perfect answer. I have here a printout of a little piece that appeared in one of the columns of American Rifleman magazine in 1943. Uh, this was written to the editor, and uh, it says, Editor, as requested, I enclose a copy of a letter from the G and C Merriam Company, publishers of the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, explaining my own name, my own preference as to the pronunciation of my name, John C. Guerin, Springfield, Massachusetts. And the uh, section of the letter he has enclosed says, an initial G hard, as in go, first A short, as in Harry, second A somewhat more obscure, as in errand, accent on the first syllable or according to the Merriam-Webster system of marketing, Garand. So that is how you are, well that is how John Cantius Garand himself pronounced his name. Garand, that's the way I have chosen to pronounce the name of his rifle. Uh, it's not the one that's in most common use in the US, but I think it's appropriate to call it the same way he called himself and his rifle himself. So anyway, uh, that's it for today's short. Hopefully uh, this was of some value to you. Thanks for watching.